Stars, another article from six days ago about the widow of Thomas Kingston, about how Charles had taken Lady Gabriella under his wing, disappeared and appears to have been scrapped. Now, it could come back, it could not come back, but let's have a read in case we never see it again. King Charles has taken Lady Gabriella under his arm after the death of her husband, a lovely gesture. A royal family commentator has claimed that the royal family has taken Lady Gabriella Windsor under their arm since the tragic unaliving of her husband earlier this year. Kingston was unalived at his parents' home in February. Notice, February 2024. A lot of other things happen in February 2024 with other people that we haven't seen again. Kingston was unalived at his parents' home in February. Police said there were no suspicious circumstances. This weekend will have been particularly poignant for Lady Gabriella as yesterday marked what would have been the fifth anniversary of her wedding at St. George's Chapel, Windsor. Speaking to GB News, Angela Levin claimed that the royal family are rallying around the daughter of Prince Michael of Kent. Isn't that the same woman that wore that racist blackamoor brooch that offended Meghan Markle way back when? Princess Michael of Kent and have offered a lovely gesture to her. It has been reported that King Charles and Queen Camilla have invited Lady Gabriella to attend the King's birthday parade next month. The parade is the formal name for Trooping the Color, and an appearance at the occasion would be the first time she has been seen in public since her husband's unaliving. Levin said, The royal family are taking her under their arm. King Charles has asked her if she would like to take part and go on the balcony with the whole family, and it would be very nice for her if she did that if she felt like it, because there's a service on behalf of his passing the following week. The funeral service was very small. Very few people came, and I thought it would be such a very nice gesture. Lovely to bring her in. It is not known if Lady Gabriella will be invited to join the king and queen on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to watch the traditional fly pass. Along with other junior royals, Lady Gabriella had made regular appearances on the balcony until the COVID-19 Global Panini in early 2020. When the Global Panini was over and Trooping the Color returned, Queen Elizabeth II invited only working royals to join her. According to Eden, Kingston's family, in partnership with the royal family, have organized a memorial service for the late financier. Some of Kingston's friends have already been invited. A source told the mail, it will be a wonderful chance to celebrate his life. Kingston's funeral took place at the Chapel Royal within St. James's Palace in March. The daughter of Prince and Princess of Kent, Lady Gabriella, married Thomas Kingston in 2019 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor with the royal family in attendance, including the late Queen Elizabeth II. Prince Michael was first cousin to the late queen, his father, Prince George of Kent, being her uncle. As such, Lady Gabriella is the second cousin of King Charles. Stars, one person comments, what I don't understand is why Thomas Kingston's funeral service was small. That doesn't make sense since he was so young, 45 years old, handsome and popular, fought in Iraq and Afghanistan, and married the daughter of Queen Elizabeth's cousin. You'd think that many royal family members, aristocrats, soldiers, and work colleagues, in addition to his own family and friends, would have attended, especially being stunned by his sudden unaliving. How could Kingston's funeral have been small unless they made it small on purpose? Interesting. And, you know, it, 
it does make you wonder, are the royal family members keeping Lady Gabriella close to reward her for her silence? Or are they keeping her close to ensure her silence? And there is a second article um, published April 24th, 2024, by Richard Eden and Chris Matthews and Harry Howard. Friends are rallying around Lady Gabriella Windsor after unaliving of her war hero husband, Thomas Kingston, as she moves back in with her parents because she didn't want to be alone in the home they shared. Which is understandable. May 16th, 2024, by Richard Eden, the heartfelt royal gesture to help Lady Gabriella Windsor recover after the tragic unaliving of her husband, Thomas Kingston, and what this powerful signal really means. So Richard Eden is a trusted tool of the royal family in the UK press. He writes, of all the of all the troubles to have afflicted the royal family this year, none has been more devastating than the tragic unaliving of Thomas Kingston, the 45-year-old husband of Lady Gabriella Windsor and the ex-boyfriend of Pippa Middleton. Right? It didn't work out? Wasn't a love connection? Or did he not have as much money as the giraffe? Handsome and popular... Tom was unalived from what was described as a traumatic head wound in February. A pew-pew was found near his body in an outbuilding at his parents' home in the Cotswolds. This weekend will be particularly poignant for Lady Gabriella as Saturday is the fifth anniversary of her wedding at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, a joyful occasion with the late Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip among the guests. Now the royal family is rallying round once again, this time to help Lady Gabriella, daughter of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, to recover from the ordeal. Ordeal, huh? I can reveal that their majesties have invited Ella, as she is known by friends, to attend the king's birthday parade next month. Isn't Ella what Kate Middleton's brother James named one of his dogs the parade is the formal name for trooping the color and an appearance at the occasion would be the first time she has been seen in public since her husband's death everyone hopes that Ella will attend the celebrations if she feels up to it a royal source tells me it would be a powerful signal of the family's love and concern for her it's not clear if Lady Gabriella will be invited to join the King and Queen on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to watch the traditional fly past when the parade is over. Along with other junior royals, Ella had made regular appearances on the balcony until the arrival of COVID-19 in early 2020 when the pandemic was over and Trooping the Color returned. Queen Elizabeth invited only working royals to join her so sparing the blushes of her son prince andrew who had been stripped of public duties and the duke and duchess of sussex who had stepped back from royal duties with the firm if lady gabriella does feel able to attend the king's birthday parade and the private lunch that will follow it will be useful preparation for an even more important date in her calendar the following weekend. I can disclose that Tom's family, in partnership with the royals, have organized a big memorial service for him. Some of his friends have already been invited. It will be a wonderful chance to celebrate his life. Most were not invited to his funeral in March. This was a small, and I'm told, highly emotional gathering at the Chapel Royal within... St. James Palace, St. James Palace, the setting for the marriage of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert in 1840 and the christening of Prince George in 2013. 
Tom's body had been carried by a hearse in a funeral procession from Kensington Palace. Lady Gabriella was joined by her parents, her brother, Lord Frederick Windsor, and his wife, the actress, oh, another actress, Sophie Winkleman. I've never heard of her. The coroner who formally opened the inquest into Tom's unaliving said police were satisfied it was not suspicious. The inquest has been adjourned. Surprise, surprise! Last month I disclosed that Ella had moved back in with her parents at their home in Kensington Palace. They wanted Ella to be with them, and she didn't want to be alone in the home she shared with Tom. One of her friends told me at the time, All of us are rallying round and she's going to be okay. Lady Gabriella, 43, whose father is a first cousin of the late Queen, had previously lived in the Notting Hill area of West London with Tom. Interestingly, this means that Lady Gabriella is related to the royal family through her father. Her mother, the one with the blackamoor brooch that offended Meghan because of its racist overtones, apparently married in. Am I wrong? Hmm. After the financiers unaliving, King Charles and Queen Camilla's spokesman said they had sent their most heartfelt thoughts and prayers to Gabriella and to all the Kingston family. I hope the King's birthday parade and the warm embrace of the royal family will prove to be Lady Gabriella's first step on the steep road to recovery. Huh. Stars, these articles seem so warm and dry and boring. Why would one article disappear and there's a little message that says this page no longer exists? And then the Wikipedia page got taken down. What is so controversial that any of these articles would be taken down or maybe edited? Maybe they will be reposted, but... It is very disconcerting. We saw this with the Carol Middleton car accident. One article still live. Four articles, error message, no longer available. Why? No updates about the Carol Middleton story. And now, you know, these very kind gestures, I'm sure, are very welcome. But the (laughs) scent of controversy, doubt, and perhaps foul play, are still very much in the air. One person points out there is also the matter of the bruising of William's neck a day or two later than Kingston's unaliving. A bruised neck is odd at any time, but right after an alleged self-harm incident, was someone attacking William and Thomas tried to help? Did Thomas attack William? And then there is also Princess Anne's, I guess, second husband? Is that right? Who had the black eye just about the same time, right? Allegedly from gardening. So many accidents in the garden, out and about. None of these old dudes play contact sports and they have probably 60 or 100 staff to do the gardening, all the clearing up, and anything physical. So what's the story? Coincidence? Let me know. But in any case, we are thinking about the content of these articles that perhaps certain parties no longer wish us to know about. 